Hi there and welcome back to Save With Crypto. My name is Save With Crypto. I'm dreadfully sorry that I haven't done a video for a few days. Um, I've been up at my dad's house in the Midlands, um, clearing out his house after his death, sorting out, um, you know, cremation, the will, death certificate, all that kind of stuff. And it's been... It's been kind of emotional, actually, kind of like throwing away, you know, going like f objects that I've known all my life, you know, that, you know, even just some like, you know, weird sort of like porcelain dog that used to be on the, on the, on the windowsill. It had always been there. And then, you know, the other day I just unloading the car and a, and a trailer and just picking this stuff up and just throwing it into a skip. Um, it's really weird it's like you know a lifetime of memories just kind of like finished a few other things have happened as well which have been pretty damn awful to be honest and uh i've just not had my heart in it to be honest okay um other bad news is the zoid pay app didn't come out on time it was supposed to come out last tuesday it was delayed because they're waiting on google play and the apple app store to approve it i honestly thought that was already done Obviously, I got the wrong end of the stick, and it's not, so we're waiting on that. Um, nevertheless, I'm going to do the usual kind of multiverse kind of stuff. I did actually have some Zoid Pay um, in a KuCoin account, and uh, I withdrew that and put it into the X Exchange. So let's just have a look what I've got at the moment. So you can see here that I've been, you know, kind of collecting Zoid Pay. So I've actually got like forty-two thousand Zoid Pay there, which is worth like six hundred and ninety-two dollars. Um, still not entirely sure if I should leave it like that. I think I will, though, because I think this bloody app has got to come out like next week. If it doesn't, they're going to lose the respect of everybody. I think, um, including me, to be honest. But anyway, let's claim the boosted rewards. So overall, I've got $975 worth of liquid tokens and lock tokens. I've got like $9,883 worth there. Uh, energy of 3.782, position 179 in the Newton League. So let's claim this stuff and see what I get. So let's do the boosted rewards. So this is like $35 of XMEX and 5 bucks of XMEX there and lots of little other bits of stuff. Um, I should probably have a look at Metabonding as well. Although this is really worth nothing now. You get a little bit of Cyber, a little bit of Sense for Fit, a little bit of Quo Wop. Uh, you don't get X money anymore, so that's it. Let's claim all them rewards. Now the thing I don't understand is like they've announced the next X day in the autumn in Seoul. Now last year they announced that there was going to be version 3 of the X Exchange. And that never happened. So either they've got to get it out like really soon or just kind of forget that it ever was mentioned. It was supposed to happen before the end of 2023 and it just never did. Yeah, so everything's a bit disappointing at the moment. Let's have a look at the meta staking. What have I got? A little bit of UTK and that's about it. So I've now got $982 worth of liquid tokens, a few more lock tokens. Okay, let's see what I've got in Hatton Protocol. Okay, so over here... If we look at the rewards I made, it's $5.54. A slight problem here that I'm not eligible for the USH airdrop because the eGold to Hatton ratio isn't good enough because the value of Hatton has dropped quite a bit. Although I could reduce the amount of collateral I've got there. So I've effectively got 220 eGold in there. If I removed a bit of that, that would push my percentage up to 20%, wouldn't it? Yeah, I might do that actually. Put something like 50 e gold in there and then go remove collateral. And then I still will get the state rewards, but I won't get the rewards for providing it as collateral. Now on my phone, it says that's done. Yeah, there you go. So now my percentage should be better. Yeah, it's green now. Okay. So if we look in the HTM booster, you can see that my. Percentage boost is 250%. You need that to be over 200 to be eligible for the USH airdrop. Anyway, let's take the rewards, which is only like 554 in Hatton. Which, to be honest, I'll probably just restake in that booster. Because I can't really think of anything else to do with it. Okay, according to my phone, that 
says that's done. There you go. Okay, so not much happening there. It is worth noting though with Hatton, they are getting on with stuff because there was actually a really good response to Cesar.Egold here, who he said, uh, HDM price collapsed. Hatton Protocol Twitter account has not been active since May. Has anyone got any idea what's going on? Okay. And Hatton Labs gave us really good reply here, um, which basically is very good. And in it, they said, I've seen comments hinting that the project has stopped building. This is quite funny, considering that in the last couple of months, we've accomplished plenty of things, such as finish the Hatton version 2 website, finish the USH website. Okay, love to see that. Coded and audited the USH and Booster version 2 smart contract. Scheduled the USH internal DevNet for this week. Okay, now this comment was from... Uh, yesterday, August the 2nd. So that looks pretty good. Cesar.Egold was uh, happy about that. He said, I salute you. Thanks for such a detailed response. Was not expecting this at all. So Hatton might do something good soon. So I don't mind holding a bit of Hatton. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the Zoid pay staking. So staked in my shopping pool, I've got $7.22 worth of Zoid pay to claim. So let's have that. And then over in the farms, I've got the stuff from the super farm here, which is actually $98 actually, which is not too bad. And considering the price of Zoid pay is bloody awful at the moment, that's not too bad. So let's harvest that. Now these are the two transactions that have been failing from time to time over the past few months. So I'm really, really hoping that they work. Okay, so that one's good. That was the shopping pool and the super farm's done as well, which is great. Okay, brilliant. Now, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with this wand, but the wand is still relevant. So if you've got a wand farm here, I'd probably leave it for the time being because you will be able to do something with this soon. You can't at the moment, you can't harvest it, but you can have e-gold, zoid pay, LPs and farm it. Okay, so how much have I got now altogether? Okay, so liquid tokens are now worth 1,092. That's okay. Let's update the energy while I'm here. So I've now got 50,000 Zoid pay there. I'm actually hoping if the app comes out, that will double. And I really think that Zoid pay one day could be back at $1. But it's not going to do that if they don't get the app out. They've really got to do it this week. Okay, so the way this is working at the moment is the position in the Newton Lee didn't change. Uh, my uh, energy was 3.762 trillion. It's now 3.776 trillion. So it's increasing slightly, but this seems to be getting less and less all the time. I don't know what to say, really. Um, X day is going to be like Halloween sort of time uh, in Seoul, South Korea. Um, it'd be interesting to see what happens because uh, I think something needs to happen. I really think the X Exchange version 3 needs to come out and there needs to be some real reason for like holding mechs other than metabonding because metabonding rewards are quite pathetic at the moment. Which also means nobody wants to farm it, just collecting X mechs that is locked until way in the future. Uh, if you look at mine here, it, uh, it starts to unlock on October 22nd, 2027. And the most recent lot will unlock on June 18th, 2028. Sounds a long way in the future, doesn't it? So for me personally, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of invested in these farms here, which are creating XMEX, but it's not particularly a token that I want to hold at the moment. But it might go up in value, although it really does have a chart of something that's died. So from the launch of the original DEX in 2021, it's now down pretty much 99.81%, which is incredible, isn't it? So people do really need a reason to hold XMEX. Okay, so that was probably the most depressing video that I've made this year. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, it sort of cheered me up that I've actually made a video. The next one I make will be much more cheerful. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just not in the mood at the moment. I'm really sorry, but I will kind of get back on track. You can encourage me by liking the video, leaving a nice comment. Um, making sure you're subscribed and above all telling your friends about this miserable bugger 
<laughs> talking about crypto. Okay, I promise the future is going to be better. Right, okay. Cheers, peace, bye.